Hello, I'm playing these again, and uh, yeah, I learned there actually is more like endings than the new than the one I actually did. So, if I click load, what would happen? Let's just go back. Uh, let's. So this time I'm gonna try. I, I actually um. Got the PX3 ending, which I would probably get in real life, but you know. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna get someone else. New. No. And. For anyone who hasn't seen my last episode, I'm sorry. If you have, just skip ahead or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I I ruined it. I ruined the necklace that I promised. I'm so sorry. It it's okay. I already had the gift. I always wanted. Beginning with you before I leave. This is probably the hundredth time I watched Left with Happiness on my phone. I always watch this indie film before class starts. I've always been doing this around three years now. It's touching in a stranger. Right? I'm not sure why, but it somehow reminds me of Ah. Uh, she was my neighbor friend back when my family used to live in the Providence. But that's not the only reason why I love this film. I did a s small part in its cr creations three years ago. And its director is currently attending the same school as me. Too bad we're not in the same class, though. I always, wa I always adored her work. Hey, hey, chill. I look back to see where the voice is coming from. You're watching Let the Happiness again. You're surprisingly early today. I'm not late. Every day, you know. And what's with the smile? <sighs> I finally got the cash to buy a PX3 game. Root. This is Charmite, a guy who always walks with me to school for no particular reason. Charar's Mines. That's Charar's Mines. And I'm your best buddy, you jerk. Okay. Friends don't call each other jerks, Dirk. You're the jerk. You're the jerk. You're the jerk! Both of you are jerks. I turn my head to the other direction to find out who said that. No need to argue, gentlemen. You're both jerks. The third person in the trio is Sigris, but I'm calling her Sir Reese. The name suits her better, since she acts boyish anyway. <coughs> Reese is good enough. The three of us often hang out here in school. We got nothing better to do. Well, well, we do important stuff too, ragging and from ditching class to copy each other's homework. Oh, you have the shiny thing. Where? What shiny thing? The ring you're wearing. Oh, this? I thought you were talking about Reese's forehead. Ah, ha ha ha. Just so you know, I powdered my face. I'd rather have a huge forehead than wear a movie prop. That's not a prop, it's a ring. I, I look and I... And I love wearing it. Yeah. A ring made of paper mache covered in aluminum foil. It was, it was used in the indie film back then. Yeah, but... But it came from someone. Yep, zip. Oh, didn't actually get to read that. Uh... He meant special. Oh. Okay, fine. It came from her, but I'm wearing it because it's nice, too. Right. Honest. <laughs> right. <sighs> Out of embarrassment, I, sh I took the ring off and shoved it inside my bag. Anyway, did you guys finish the algebra homework? Nope. There was one. We still have 30 minutes. Can we work on it before the class starts? Nah. Math is still after recess. I vote for ice cream. Um, last time I voted for ice cream, so this time I'm going to finish it early. It's better to finish it early, if you ask me. What, 
What, a, what about the ice cream? Save it for later. The homework is more important. Ice cream? I got the questionnaires. Let's head for the classroom. Ice cream? Okay, I'm right behind you. After a few steps down the stairs to the corridor, she stopped to look at Terman. Well, come on. But, what? Why not busy yourself? One to catch up on us. Oh, good idea. Hey, why do you s You do that? See you later at the classroom. Okay, BRB. T you don't say that in real. He dashes away as fast as our eyes were able to catch up with his speed. Oh well. Come on, let's go. Secrets. Secrets continues to climb down the stairs while I follow her. But as we reach the other corridor, I notice a blank hair, black haired girl watching me from afar. Maybe I, I was just imagining things. I turned my head to see the person clearly. It turns out she was just standing there and alone, facing other directions behind mine. Maybe she's wa waiting for someone. Her classroom is this way. Uh, oh yes, I'm coming. I turned to see once again and followed her. After a couple of minutes of sitting with our eyes glued on our paper, Seath finally broke the silence. Done. Finally. What's what's the answer for number 9 again? Y equals 24Y. Damn, math is... is damn, math is if we'll use complex gibberish in the future. A computer programming? Yes. Computer... What? Programming. You know, C, C++, Java, Python. Sounds geeky. Right. By the way, aren't you going to stalk her today like you always do? Who? Her. Miss Director. D direct? Oh, her. Let's see. I lift my head up to narrow right my eyes to observe a certain staircase that's be seen from the window. She always walks up past there with her friends during MWF to go to the cafeteria. They stay there for only 15 minutes, though. They arrive late at school in TTH, so they never have the chance to go there. Creep. It's not a crime, is it? But it sure is worse than being a geek. To, th to think that you're, you're going crazy over an ordinary-looking girl. Hey, maybe she's ordinary, but, but she became a director of two films. Two indie films. Not to forget, her first film, Left With Happiness, was a failure. No, it's not. It's just not as popular as wherever you are. Wherever what? Her second film. Oh. Where she is. So that's... That's your so-called angel from heaven. The fallen angel from the heaven to give us a fault in artist, yes? She's not even pretty. So I s do I smell jealousy? Whatever. That girl who dares Iris, she's an indie film director I admire. It's been three years since I started ta liking her. her. I first met her when I helped make a prop for her first film. I don't think she's even aware of my existence though. But that's because I never had the courage to talk to her. Not even a single high. If you like, if you like her so much, why don't you just talk to her already? I don't think she even remembers me. Besides, she's got a load of fans to memorize. She's not a god or anything. Just approach her the same as you would with any other girl. But, but I don't know how to talk to girls. I'll take that as an insult. What? Just, <laughs> I was calling her a guy. Just talk to her. Ask her about film direction stuff. Like, what? Inspire her to make her latest film? Or what the things she enjoys most when making them? Or what made her want to become a director in the first place. You know, those kind of stuff. Hmm. Hey, Sir Reese. Hey, silly. I brought ice cream. 
Don't call me silly. It reminds me of the neighbor girl years ago who called me by that name. I got a strawberry and chocolate dip for you guys. I only eat yogurt. I don't like either of them. No takers? Anyone? Well, more for me. <laughs> oh, I should have took the chocolate. I would have took it. I'll take the strawberry. I'll have the chocolate dip. Boom! This is way better. I get chocolate ice cream. Ah. Uh, don't take it the wrong way. I just want to help you by not making you fat. Tony to sat down and gave us the frozen treats. By the way, I saw Iris on, on my way up here. Too late, miss. Mr. Stark already knew. Hey. Uh, as expected from our creepy little friend. I'm not creepy. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Uh. Time passed. After several classes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're a uh, lifesaver. I'm just... I'm just being fair. Sorry, Seal, but I gotta stay here in the classroom. I got some copying to do. Uh, okay, how about you, Reese? Wanna... I gotta meet my little sis. She texted me now. She's and now she's waiting for me. Need company? Thanks, but no thanks. She might get all excited again. Excited about what? You don't want to know. Well, I'll, I'll head out, I guess. Hmm. What to do? Going back to the classroom would be boring. Jeremy's by, by himself over there copying down Sinkin's work. I could go over to the cafeteria for some snacks. Hmm, it, it's Reese. Hmm, couldn't think of it. I haven't seen Reese's sister. Um. Follow Reese, I guess. Hey, finally, something exciting for the day. I already chose this, but you know I'm gonna do it anyway. I follow Reese out of curiosity. For some odd reason, though, I I lost track of her. Maybe I need more practice with following people around. But how frustrating! I just walked up around whatever my feet lead me, and nothing interesting to see here, except there's something shiny behind the garbage can. I reach for this shiny object. It turns out to be a pair of binoculars. Who the heck would leave a nice pair of binoculars here? Oh, think of it. The one girl, like the black haired girl, I think she has I think she might own the binoculars. Should should I take it? That'd be stealing. I return the binoculars where I found it. I think it's the right thing to do. Besides this, I guess there's nothing else to see. I'll head back to the classroom. I was about to step inside our classroom when I heard a soft voice coming from a girl behind me. Excuse me? I turned around to face the inquiring person as soon as her eyes met my entire body froze. May I ask you, are you from class 4 to 5? Um. Yep, you need some? Need something new? Pardon? Need something? You see, I'm looking for i I'm looking for someone from class four to five and Miss Iris, can I bother you for a while? The person I don't recognize snatches our conversation. Uh please give me a second. Iris turns to face the persistent person. Yes? I really, really need to do this before I get back to class. It's I, I, it's hard to have this opportunity. The girl hands out a piece of paper and a pen. It's my, it's a, it's, my friend is a big fan of yours. Can I get your autograph for her, please, 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 please? Okay. Here, here on this paper? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> no need to, you need to adjust me as ma'am, but thanks. Let's see, which enough dictate anything is possible? Dedication. Um, can you also put there to Amy? To Amy. Here you go. I hope this will please your friend. She gave... A piece of paper and pen back. Absolutely, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll be going now. Take care of Miss Iris. And thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You too. Huh? 
Where'd he go? Man, I'm craving for some chips. Got any chips with you, Seal? Hey, any chips with you? What's with your face? You're all red. Did anyone chase you or something? Let me guess, you did something embarrassing, didn't you? Well, don't leave us hanging here. Excuse me? Surprisingly, Iris' head is peeking from outside the classroom. One of our classmates replied to her. Yeah! Psst. Hey, Miss Director is here. Oh, that's, that's what happened. I'm looking for a person's name, Seal. Is he from this class? What? Yeah, he's right over here. Seal, hey Seal, someone's looking for you. Seriously, me? Oh, did something happen? No, I, I don't know. My, my, you're getting redder and redder. Shut up, you're not helping. Uh, is Seal busy? I can come back later instead. Just a sec. Hey, Champ, I think your friend's here is, is wearing headphones. Tell me. Tell him some, someone's looking for him. Sure, sure. Come on. She's outside. Go get her. Don't make a girl wait. She's right. I, sh I shouldn't make her wait. I fill my lungs with air to build up the curds. Then I, then I stood up, stepped outside the classroom, and finally approached her face to face. Um, you, you were looking for, for me? Uh, so you're a seal? Y yeah. I didn't know I should have recognized you, but I'm sorry for bothering you. Maybe I can... Maybe I kind of act ignoring back there. Huh? You're not... I was... Well, I'm sorry I left you a while ago. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. At least I'm able to borrow some of your time now. You're one of the prop makers of my first film, right? I, I guess, from Left With Happiness. Yep. If you remember right, when the film was finished, all the props were given back to the people who worked on them. Is yours still with you? It's the paper mache ring in the aluminum foil, right? Yes, that's the one. Do you still have it? That's it's in my bag. Let me get seal. That's just a start. No. Yes, ma'am. Oh my, I have to go back to my class too. Let's count. Let's continue this later. Maybe at lunch. Is, is the cafeteria fine with you? Nod. Great, let's see you later then. She leaves the corridor to head to her classroom. Cafeteria? L lunch? With Iris? As time passed, lunch break arrived. She told you to meet her in the cafeteria? Yes. I said that while placing the paper mache ring on my finger. Does that mean she'll eat lunch with her? What kind of question is that? Is that the cafeteria? What else would you do there? Well, she didn't say anything about eating eating together. That's automatically. Why would she? Woot is official. You got a date with the director. Sure, it is. Wait, no. No, maybe she's just waiting for the paper mache ring from the first film. It's not even it's not even official de group hug. Wait, wait, no. No, Charmy, I don't want a group hug. <laughs> Damn man, I never even see seen you with the date of my life. This is awesome. Kinda weird. She's like like jammed the oh my god. <laughs> I just don't know. I said it's not official, it's just an ordinary lunch. Ah, oh, you guys are squeezing me! Dude, a girl, a boy, eating together alone is a date. No, it's not. It's just, that's just eat it. While Chami is squeezing us all, I felt something disturbing. Something hard. It's poking the lower side. I felt tilted to my spine now. There's no field to came next. Chami, is that. Before I finished my sentence, I noticed there's something unusual. The prodding se sensation is coming from behind me. <laughs> I managed to push Chairman's tight grip away from us. Oh, I'm just happy for you, man. You don't have to push me that hard. Ah, oh, dude. We can't breathe from your deadly hugs. <laughs> yeah, I got too excited. 
Reese. I just I just remembered. So right now she's in the cafeteria waiting for you. Uh, well, I guess so. What are you waiting for? Get your butt there already. Uh, right. Okay, okay. You made her wait once. Are you planning on doing it again? I said okay. I'll go. I'll go. Good luck. Don't let her see you sweat buckets. Rushed my way to the cafeteria as agreed a while ago. But on my way there, I saw a black-haired girl not so far from facing my direction again. And this time, not sure she's looking at her because she's following my moving body. What the? Is this really weird? But that doesn't really matter right now. A girl is waiting for me. I'm going to ignore this for now and head to the cafeteria. All right, here I am. There she is. Iris, the girl I've been sneaking. Stalking for Razor. She's now sitting on the table waiting for me. Okay, here goes nothing. Smooth move, don't ask. You need to relax. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Oh, I, did, I didn't see you there. It's like a whole different story. Uh. <clears throat> idiot. Place your book down. Are you okay? Um. I'm okay, I'm okay, I just, uh, catching up my breath, ha uh, huff, huff. Is that so, chuckle? So you ran here? Yeah. I'm guessing no teacher spotted you on your way down here. Uh, how, um, how can you tell? You had no running in the school according to policy. <laughs> yeah. Huff, <laughs> Hmm. Uh, how? Crap, she's staring at me. Why is this starting to... At me all of a sudden. So, something's wrong. That depends. Is your throat okay? Uh, what's, what's my voice have to do with anything? No, I'm, I'm fine. Because you're talking like this, this all, all the, the, the time not up. Uh, so, sorry, I, I, I mean sorry. You're not, you're not intimidated by me, are you? What, what, why would I do, um, I'm not a monster or anything. I'm gonna sh shove my hand in your chest and pull your heart out and eat it. Wait, what? And into my other arm in the same hole and reach for your kidneys in an instant. What the? And snap your ribs one by one so I can grab, get a hold of your lungs. What are you talking about? I always wanted to make a horror movie. You see, a lot of people seem to be afraid to talk to me ever since wherever you are became, became popular. But to be honest, it's wherever you are that's popular, not me. I'm just a regular person attending a regular school. I'm not special or anything. I, mean, I just made it. Oh, oh, didn't you know there are actually people who are calling me Master of God? I mean, it's really surprising when I first heard that. It's, well, of course it's flattering to hear such, but I kind of, it's kind of too much, right? Imagine a person hearing from a fan. He'd probably be like, Master Iris, who the heck is that? Is this? So, um, director, anyways. Then he sees my work and he'd be disappointed to find I'm only made indie movies. <coughs> <coughs> but, your works really are great. I don't think it's not something to be embarrassed of, even if it's only indie. Yeah, but thanks to see to me. Maybe it's an okay in the indie level, but it's. Not Hollywood great. It doesn't have to be Hollywood great, just to call it great. That's what I think. Oh. One day you'll make a really terrific movie that complete compete with the Hollywood ones. But for now, you're just a student. Making a low budget indie movie is already amazing. What what you made it nice stepping stone to your career in the future. You're right. Maybe I'm expecting too much from my works. Take a step by step. Nod, hmm? And you know what's even better? You're okay. Oh, uh, I never said I'm scared in the first place. Yeah, but you don't s s sound like this, like an, uh, like an anymore. <laughs> hey, girls, is this the guy? Two familiar girls came to approach Iris. Yep, they went on their ways to sit behind her. Seal, this is Mariko and. Charmine, my best friends. Yo. 
Nice to meet you. Charming to meet you, huh? I've always seen them with Iris, but I never bothered knowing their names. Girls, this is Seal, the one decorating the rings. Ha! Huh. Damn, I thought I'd be alone with Iris. I was expecting a cutie guy. Huh? Well, he's not half bad. Who? What are you guys talking about? I just asked him to come because of the ring. Of course, he, he came with the ring for you. Okay, Seal. Do it in short and simple. Just ask you, will you marry me? Uh, guys? <laughs> hey, look, he's actually blessing. My, my, my. Guys? Okay, okay. You're just kidding. I'm sorry, just ignore them. Um, er, sir. <sighs> now that we're here, hopefully, ma'am, Sanjay won't interrupt us anymore. Hey, she can easily break conversation in five words. She broke your date. I'll be quiet now. About the ring. I pulled the ring off my finger and showed it to them. You were wearing it? Well, it was a waste to keep it hidden, so I... How long have you been wearing it? Years? You didn't. May I please have it? Oh, sure. I handed her the ring. I noticed her hand trembling. She was going teary eye, and her eyebrows were connecting. I'm scared. Was it something I said? Surprisingly, she grabbed her book and, and left us in the haze. Iris? Letter. But. Why? In the world, were you wearing that ring? I shouldn't? Do you have any idea what that... Charming, he doesn't know a thing about the ring. It, it, he doesn't know it's special. Ugh. She looks she looks pissed. Too pissed for a simple ring. Surely there's a story behind this. The ring is special. I think it's best. Yeah. Okay. You know about the film, Left with Happiness, right? It's her first film. Yes, well, that film was actually based on her childhood memories. Really? She had a close friend back when she was eight. And she really, really adored this friend of hers. She used to tell us almost every day how sweet this guy is. That he was the first person to know her every problem every time she cries. How caring and helpful she is when she was in trouble. Yada yada yada, but her first friend had to move in a different place because of that. She wanted to surprise him with him a handmade gift before he leaves, just like in the film, only the other way around. Unfortunately, she didn't finish it in time, so her friend left without even knowing she had a gift for him. I see. So, what happened to the necklace? Oh, no, no, no. In the film, she used the necklace as a special gift. In the True story, it's not even fancy as that. She, it was not even made of silver. What is it then? You were wearing it. Yes, it's the ring. I, I have no, wait, wait. If the ring is so special, then why should she use it as a prop? Or why is it, and why is she claiming it now? It's been three years already. I wish we could tell you, but even we don't know the reason. All we know is that after we attended her fan club event a week ago, she got really stressed. Fan club event? Well, the fans are fanatic enough to make a special event just for her. Right, after the event, she cried to us and she... Okay, I've been doing all these... Well, doing all these years. I became a director because of him. How could I have forgotten him? And yada yada yada, more drama stuff as expected. Kieran, stop that. Act like a friend that you are. Hey, I'm not the drama queen here. What? You're unbelievable. Wait. 
I can see where this is going. This is all started because of me. May I see two for favorite? Could you tell her I'm sorry? I really want to meet it. If you only knew the ring is precious to her, I wouldn't be wearing it in the first place. I want to tell her that I'm sorry, but I, I don't think she even wants to see me. Well, I guess we could do that. It's better than nothing. Don't worry, I'm, I'm sure she'll, she will understand. Thank you. We better go now. We gotta find her before lunch break ends. Okay. See ya. See you later. Both of them left. Sigh. Just eat. Got a room. Got a, got a room for two more. What? That didn't turn out well, didn't it? Maybe I kind of messed up. I don't even know what that that ring was. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Let's let's get something to eat first. Yeah, tell us everything while we fill our stomachs. Sure. Is that for real? A little piece of mache ring, ring a person that emotional? I can't even tell if if if, if that ring is special to her or not. Well, at least I gave it back to her. She should be thankful you didn't throw it away for three years. Yeah, yeah. Even took care of it. Even if it's for another guy, hopefully I'll make her happy. Happy? You know, you don't really think a simple re to make her happy. Uh, what do you mean? Well, think about it. Sure, she's got the ring. Then what? Make sweet love with it? What? She can make love with the small ring. I understand I'm being special and all, but crying over is kind of, well, hey, don't talk badly about her, please. I still have feelings for her, you know? No, no, it's not like that. It's just, well, fine, I admit it. It's simple. I'm simply trying to convict you to forget her while it's still early. Don't lose yourself for a girl who's taken... You'll just hurt yourself more. I kind, I kind of agree. I don't know. It's not that easy. Like these, like they say, there are many fish in the sea. Yeah, you're not in love. You're not in love to understand how I feel right now. You won't understand. I do. I'm not an idiot. I'm a girl myself, so I know what's best for you. Are you even sure? Yes, trust me. When I say I know how love works. Not that. I mean, are you even sure you're a <laughs> girl? Ha <laughs> ha! Why would you say that? Excuse me? What? What the hell are you talking about? Of course I'm a girl. Why would I say that? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, it's almost time for class. Already? We just ate. So let's go now. You guys go ahead. Uh, why? Let's just do what he says. See you later, Seal. Okay. What? I don't get it. Reese dragged Charm with her and left. So, great, stupid fate. He stood up and decided to leave the cafeteria. But on my way to the car here, I saw a familiar face. Uh, is, is that the fangirl? Oh, I didn't get to talk with the black haired lady. Well, technically, she said her friend. She said her friend is with Iris. Hmm? Well, I was pondering, she approached me. Oh, hi there. You're Iris, friend. I saw. A while ago. Friend, oh, no, no, no. Just, she just, well, that's right. She only wanted the ring back. Nothing else? Let's see, there's, it's, is there something wrong, mister? Oh, no, I didn't say something offensive. Oh, what, no, I mean, no, it's okay. She was just looking for a prop that I was working on for her first film. A prop? Did, did you help with the production or? Of left with happiness? Yeah, it was that was three years ago though. Whoa! That's awesome. 
What was it? Just a small ring. It was worn by the male leading character. Whoa, a silver ring? He was wearing on the... On his right pinky? I never knew... You made that? I didn't really make it. It was just... It was just... Re, re decorate what... You can't even tell he was wearing it on his pinky. Right pinky. You're the one... One of the autograph, aren't you? <laughs> you got me. I'm Amy, alright. Uh, my whole name is Empathetic, so. But you can call me Amy. I'm a. I'm a long running member in Irish fan club, if you know. Hmm. Nice to meet a fellow fan. The name is Seal. My name is Seal. You must. You must be a huge fan of the Irish. Uh, my name is Seal. You must be a huge fan of the Irish, I guess. My name is Seal. You must be a huge fan of Iris. Yep. You bet I am. Working on a prop for her must be awesome. Are you, are you a fan too? Well, it used to be, but not anymore. Not anymore? Uh, I've heard of that line before. You got dumped by the famous Iris, didn't you? A lot of guys say that after she rejects them. Heck no, but well, just saying that I I got broken hearted. Hmm, you don't have the courage to tell her your feelings. I, t I take it. You understand that we're on the same boat. Yeah, but you have a crust on super popular person too. Well, more like... The same person. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not. I'm. Why am I telling you my secrets anyway? Don't blame me. You're the one with the huge mouth. Now I remember. You're awesome for making the silver ring. I just redecorated it. I didn't make it. It was, and it was a long time ago. Uh, speaking of time. Hmm. I looked at my phone. Holy crap, it's 10 minutes late for my class. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're both late. Well, I got, I got permission from the teacher, so it's no problem for me. I thought you didn't mind. Darn it, I gotta go now. It's nice to meet you. Dude, it's time to meet you too. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, I thought I, I thought I'm already late. What are you doing outside the classroom? Psst, seal. What are you guys doing here? I, I could, I could see the teacher inside the classroom. Shh. Huh? We were just thinking. Want to ditch class? What? Right now? Keep your voice down. Oh right. I'm thinking of buying the PX3 game. Are you in? Um. Uh, I guess I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Seriously? You guys aren't scared of getting caught? Don't be a sour grape now. We do this every now and then. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Right behind you. We made our way to the school's entrance. Thought some seems off secrets. She's unusual quiet now. Finally, out of school. Ah, oh, feels refreshing. Uh, been a while since I last saw the streets at this hour. Oh wait, finally here in the PX3 shop. Hey, it's closed. What? Closed? It will open at 3 p.m. Oh, that sucks. Beep. I know another shop that sells PX3 games, but I forgot where it is. Oh, I know about that too. The one that also sells those a hum product haha <laughs> I knew you're talking about that haha <laughs> now where was that again is it that way isn't it this way hmm yeah let's try that one pharmacy minaret restaurants I don't remember this stop uh, being here music store hot dog stand trade uh, Okay, it's not here. I told you it was on the other street. 
I don't remember you saying that. I did. I pointed my finger at the road. Oh, are you sure? All I remember is what you saying. Yeah, let's try that one. I even I even said it. Is it that way? I was I asked you. Can we just can we go to the other street? Yeah, let's go. Oh, crap, it's not here either. And you said it was on this street. Okay, I was wrong. We're both wrong. You know, we can just wait for 3 o'clock and just waste time walking. Hmm, that could work. What do you guys want to do in the meantime? Ice cream! Again? You're, you're saying it like it's a bad thing. You like ice cream, Reese. Anything works for me. Ice cream it is. We sat on a random bench and a while enjoying eating the cold dessert. Lick, lick. Lick, lick. I know a student has been eating her ice cream yet. Not even a bite. Uh, you haven't touched your ice cream. I'm not a slob. I finish it in seconds. I wonder where the shop is. Yeah. This city isn't isn't that large. We could we could have we should have found it already. Yeah, Reese. Any ideas where the shop is? How should I know? As if I'm disguised in pervert to know the place? Uh, maybe it's it's that way. What what are you staring at? Something bothering you, Reese? She raised an eyebrow. Put it. What makes you say that? You're awful quiet today. Okay, so? And you're, uh, so how you call thoracic per sarcastic? I forgot the word. Whatever that is. I'm fine. I'm just following you guys. Hmm. What are you guys talking about? You're not fine, I can tell. Oh, great. So you're making this a big deal now. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't know being quiet is a crime now. Now you're being an ass. Guys, I'm just concerned. Maybe we can help you with whatever is in trouble in you. Come on. We're friends. Yeah. I saw that. I definitely say saw that. She rolled her eyes. All right, that's it. What's what's the problem? Uh, seal? What is... What is something? Was it something we said? Did we forget something important? Is coming to class bothering you that much? What does it tell us? You guys will never understand. What? Nothing. If I'm biting a total ass to your enjoyment, I might as well go back to school. Have fun, guys. She hopped off the bench and stairs, walking to the direction towards the school. Hey, don't, don't, don't walk out on us. Watch me. Grr. I jumped off my seat and grabbed her arm. Seal, get your hands off me. She tugged her arm away from my grip. Whatever is bothering me is none of your business, all right? So what it, so what it, if it, you guys know my problem is, what makes you think you can solve it anywhere? Now just leave me alone. You call me an ass and you're being an ass. God. Ugh. I left my speechless while I, I watched her walk away. What on earth happened? Sigh. Do you think we should have followed her? I don't know, man. She looks pissed. I mean, really pissed. Is it okay I passed on buying your PX3 game today? I want to follow. I want to follow her. You might take her steam some more. If you do that, no, no, I'm going to apologize. <laughs> it's my fault. I made a big fuss about it. Oh, okay. I'm ready to come with you. Thanks, but I'm fine alone. I don't want to get you in trouble. Ah, ain't that sweet. Ah, oh, shut up. Just make sure she's found, alright? The game 
Can wait anyway. Thanks. I'm sorry. That's cool. Go after her, man. I will see you tomorrow. See ya. Yeah. Now, if I was her, where would I go? And instructor looked at the restroom, specifically the mirror. Can't be serious, Seal. Where, where do you think she'd go? Hmm. Go to the corridor where the teacher lounge is. Looks like the best answer because it's the longest. Go to the go to the random corridor. Go back to the classroom. Go to the nearest corridor. I went back to the corridor where they walked to just a while ago, but I don't see her anywhere in this corridor. Ah, uh, this is bull. Where is she? Well. Walking aimlessly around the corridor, I heard a faint voice somewhere. Uh, where's that coming from? I followed the sound. It's coming from a closed door to the to a classroom. I peeked through the window. I see two people talking to each other on each side. Is that Iris and Amy? What What are they doing? I'm sorry, but I already love someone. I get it. Girls can't be together that way. It's not normal, I know. I got it all wrong. My heart's already belonged to someone years ago. And it's the very reason why I made Lift with Happiness in the first place. I'm sorry. It's always like this. Be, be it my age, someone older, a guy, or even a girl, I always get turned down. Maybe I'm not meant for this love business. No love is for everyone. You only have to look for the right person. All I did all my life, I don't even know if it was worth anything anymore. You'll find the person one day. I know you can. You need to be patient. Could you could you at least do me a favor, Miss Iris? Anything for you, for a fan. May I, may I kiss you? I, I don't know. <laughs> Iris, what are you doing? Stop, Miss Iris. I love you. Holy, <laughs> is she mad? I'm gonna stop that idiot. On a second thought, this might turn out hot. Stop, please. I don't want. It. I don't want this. What in the world? I love you so much, Miss Iris. Please don't turn inappropriate. Hey, uh, if you love me so much, then please respect my dignity. I want to know my apps about you. I want to know you. You taste. Uh, can somebody help me, please. Again, should I help her or watch them? Should I help her or watch them? Should I help him or watch them? Someone. Help, nah. Eh. It's gonna be alright, Miss Iris. You're gonna love it, don't worry. Well, that's a creepy end. Um. Um. Oh, he's got the end, but I don't wanna move on this. Um. Yeah. Come over to the gallery. Anyway, I didn't... That... That was an ending. Yeah. Um... This has been D's... Um... If you want me to do more of this, which I'm probably going to do more of it anyway, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Oh, like this, um, the same, like, game, I just agreed and stuff. Um, I'm going to try doing more endings until, you know, that was a weird ending, but, um, 
you know. Yeah. Anyway. Beat. Out.